Hello, YouTube. If you stumbled upon this video, I am Abel, and so are you. I have here today some uh, work boots that uh, I do like. Um, these boots here are Irish Setters, Ashby's. Um, they have a, a really nice look to them. Uh, a nice color. Um, I've been looking at boots lately and kind of going through my boots and tossing some. And and so I've created a few um, opportunities for myself to get some boots. And so I just want to share a little bit. Uh, if any of you guys were kind of looking at these Ashby's, um, if we start here at the bottom, if you can see, there's a few layers here. You got that very bottom layer there, and then the white, and you got a little cork there. And on the bottom here, oil and sip, slip resistant, the Irish setter. And if you can see that stitching up there helps keep that sole attached so it won't come apart uh, at the toe. That's stitching there. So that's a nice, let's add it there to uh, prevent that. Uh, this Goodyear well, it is synthetic. It is not leather, as you can see how shiny it is. Um, this is not a waterproof boot, um, but it's a very good looking boot. A lot of a lot of guys have uh, I've seen videos on these where these were really tore up. These boots really hold up. Uh, this is a soft toe. Uh, it's got the mock toe on there. Good looking leather. It's almost like a tumbled leather. If you can see how soft that is, there's no zero uh, break in period. Comfortable. Uh, I do have somewhat of a sore heel from some other boots that I've been wearing, but these, they do not hurt my heel at all. I don't get any heel lift. These boots are really nice. Um, as you can see, that Irish setter is pressed in there. Nice. Some triple stitching there. Triple stitching there. You know, not a lot of stuff hanging off, you know, in terms of stitching. Really nice stitching. These boots are made by Red Wing. However, if you can see here, the boot is made in Vietnam. Um, this is a size 8. And so, you know, some guys might not like that. Uh, from what I understand, this leather is somehow still coming from America, yet they ship it over to Vietnam for this to be put together. I don't know all the details on that. Um, then you got here the Irish Setter logo stitch there. This is some nice, this is some nice shoestring here. Um, nice and loose. You can zip, you know, you can pull these up really nice. Um, the eyelets. If you can see there, it's got Irish setter on them, on the eyelets. And you got three, four, five, five of them. Let's see, is it, is it augusted? No, it's, this, this is not, this tongue is not augusted up at all. Like I say, these are not waterproof. It, it comes about right here. So, you you know. You might be able to wear these in the rain a little bit, but in a in a downpour, you're in trouble. So I wouldn't I wouldn't advise that. Got a little cushion here around the ankle. Nice pull tab. You know, some guys don't like that because their pants catch on that. I don't really have that issue. These are really comfortable, man. I tell you, I did pay a little too much for these, and the reason why I say that is. I got these from the Red Wing store for about 200 bucks. 
I've seen them on Amazon for as low as 145. Now on Amazon, I don't know. Are you getting are you getting seconds? I don't know. Are you getting returns? I don't know. I can, you know, you know, with Amazon is you just don't know. But these were perfect uh straight from the Red Wing store. Now here I have the insole that went with this. And although it didn't hurt my feet, it's very thin. And, you know, me, I like a lot of cushion. And so what I did, I took it, I took these out. And because I was throwing some boots out, some very comfortable boots, I took the insole out of some Rockies that I had. And as you can see, this has been used, but look at look at how thick this is. Look how thick that sole is, the insole is. And so I dropped these in here, and man, it's like walking on clouds. You hear me? Uh, these are some rocky boots that I tossed out, uh, but I kept the insoles because the insoles are incredible. Um, this particular boot is like a made for post postal workers who walk all day on cement. So this is extremely resilient. And the boot that I threw out was probably a two or three year old boot, but I kept the insole. The insole is, is gold, man. Cause you can't really buy insoles like this. I don't know, maybe you could, but they would probably be 35. 45, maybe even $50 for something like this, but I already had it. So I dropped them in here and man, it's like, it's like walking on clouds. So anyway, guys, I hope that, uh, if you were in the market for looking for something like this, I hope I was able to give you a closer look at them. I love that color, man. I don't know what, what color that is. That's like a, a reddish maroon I don't know, but it's it's really nice. And I have to be careful. I thought about waterproofing these. And I know if I do that, I'm going to mess up the color. I'm going to darken this boot. And this boot is already a very dark boot. And I don't know if I want to do that. So I think I'm just going to treat these, you know, with something that's not going to change the color. And uh, just not wear them in the rain. You know, unless I get caught in the rain, but I'm not going to, I'm just not going to wear these on really heavy snow days or a lot of rain. I, I got waterproof boots that'll, that'll do that for me. So, hey guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you tuning in. Subscribe, um, comment, and uh, again, remember to thumbs up.